Oh, just burn the edge. Guys, if you're hunting for a new putter, good luck. You're about to get lost in the tour sauce. The key to finding the right putter is understanding what putter category you fall into way before you start shopping and getting lost in the woods. There is a lot of putters to choose from. Well, generally there's a whole bunch of different putters, but we kind of put them into three categories. Basically, mallet putters, these first three, although they have different hosels, so different angles are sitting at. These are more traditional putters, and here's an old style Scotty Cameron that's a real blade. So mallet putters essentially are for help you align better. They're much more forgiving because they're a larger, higher MOI, so miss hits are typically better. And typically they're for putter strokes that are more straight back and straight through. Mallet putters in general are um, you know, good for a lot of people, probably the majority of people, to be honest. They're definitely easier to align. They're easier to keep on track. They're more forgiving. And now they come in all different configurations. They fit pretty much anybody. But you know, it's really a question of what you like and what you like the look of. It could be the best putter in the world for you. If you don't like it, it's not gonna be very friendly with you. Sure. So <laughs> you need to find one you like as well. The second category basically is the more traditional style putters, which obviously Ping was the first with the Scottsdale Answer. These are typically like 45% down, um, so the angle of this is 45 degrees. And again, that 45 is why? Probably the majority of tour players actually putt inside to inside a little bit because you arc obviously around your body and it tends to open and close the face a little bit and 45 degrees tends to open and close the face a little bit. So, so it matches up with the stroke, yeah. Gotcha, okay. Then we have the blade putters, which are not many around anymore. I had to search in the shop to find one. This is an original Scotty Cameron Titleist, which is a real traditional blade blade. There are some people that still use these things, not many, but these are really for the more traditional, you know, Ben Crenshaw type stroke, inside uh, out kind of, that really kind of released it, much more handsy, which existed a lot more years ago when greens were slower. You guys used to use your hands a lot to get the ball lofted and moving. Now the green speed and stuff, they're kind of going away. Um, although we still see a few of them out there. Generally speaking, the putting stroke kind of dictates what putter works. In general, and there's always exceptions to this, mallet putters, more straight back, straight through stroke. Traditional type putters, a little more um, inside to inside, and the blade style putters, more inside to out. I think it's important to show you the three different strokes. At least have a general idea of what they are, so you have a, some idea where to start looking for putters. Uh, the most traditional one you'll see is actually inside to inside, so it's got a little bit of an arc to it. Um, this is the most common path on tours. So here you see he's actually, you know, you see 88 degrees, so he's two degrees inside and two degrees open. So it's square to the path, but it is opening quite a bit. And then on the way through, obviously he gets back to zero at impact. And on the way through, he's about three degrees closed and again, two degrees in. So he's got a two degree arc around. So 45 degrees, that's pretty traditional. That's what we see mostly on tour. Um, the other putting stroke is obviously what you see here, which is a pretty much straight back, straight through. Not many people actually really do that, it's difficult, but there are some. If you look on the screen here, pretty much dead square, zero. Zero to impact and zero through, and the putter is staying square for over a foot. And then there's the hybrid one, which kind of goes inside to almost straight down the line. So essentially what happens is he takes it back a little bit inside, uh, opens it up two degrees open. Um, then on the way through though, he tends to keep it more straight down the target line. Um, that tends to close it less. So the question is with all this, you know, you've got hundreds of putters out there, different shapes, different styles and stuff. How do you pick your putter? So before you go start looking for a putter and look at hundreds and hundreds of putters, uh, try to get some idea of what you're looking for and what your tendencies are. So if you know you're missing right, you know, obviously more offset, you're missing left, less offset. Um, face balance putters if you rotate it more or less. And what do you like the look of and what do you like the feel of? So when you go to the store or whatever and pick up hundreds of putters, try to narrow that down a little to begin with and try and get it down to two or three that you really like and then play with them for an hour or so. And at the end of the day, the one that goes in the most is the right putter for you. One of the things you can think about too is if you have a tendency to go up through impact, that means you go more outside. And you go down, you go more left. So a quick hint for you if you're going the wrong direction. Don't think about where it's going, but up and down, easier. Ooh, I like that, yeah. okay.